How's it going guys, gals, and indie pals? I'm Alice in Wonder One and your favourite Kiwi trans girl, and today I've got something a little bit different. You've seen scientific investigations. You've seen me get roasted. You've even seen me do a makeup tutorial on actual f***ing handcuffs. Which thankfully I did find the keys for, by the way. But I promise you've never seen anything like this. See, it's not a secret that I look at men a lot. Women too, and particularly femboys. So today I thought I'd share some with you. Yes, you guessed it right. You inferred. You thought about it. You read the f***ing title. We're doing a hot people deal, this baby! It's far too early in the morning to be drinking beer anyway. Even though I'm thirsty. Brenton Thwaites. Pretty easy one here, that's straight to S tier. It was actually the only redeeming feature in the new Titans show, except for the Porsche that they got rid of after the third episode. And he likes kittens too. I'm a kitten. Meow. Kaya Scodelario. Hmm. Let's put you here. This guy goes here. Emma Watson. How can you not love her? Leviosa, not Leviosa. And one of my favorites now, Congleton Sandback. Little weird looking in Sherlock, but fantastic with a beard. Also penguins. Penguins, just did penguins. Jeremy Clarkson, rich and funny, where's the issue? This guy, Richard Hammond was once voted the sexiest man in Britain, is also one of the shortest and so easiest to well, surely you gotta take all three at once, right? Steve Buscemi. Dude was a firefighter, and have you seen firefighters? Woo! Broden Kelly. Fit guys and tan tops, man. I just... Hmm. I'm beginning to notice a bit of a pattern here. Do you get it? The joke is that I'm a thirsty bitch. But I can't keep this joke going for too long, and I'm too thirsty to put anyone at anything less than S. I need a compromise. How about instead of ranking hot people from A to F, we instead rank them into categories. Could be fun. Okay, I've redone my tier list. We have new categories, cute, beautiful, hot, envy, mature hot, step on me pretty please, and rich slash funny. Let's try this again. I am worried about people's TikTok affected attention span and them clicking off now, so speed run the people we've already done. Brendan Thwaites, hot. Pying to con, step on me. Kai Scottolario, hot. This guy, hot. Emma Watson, beautiful. Congleton Sandbag, mature hot. This guy, hot. Steve Buscemi, beautiful. Man's a work of art. Broden Kelly, in the kiln. Jeremy Clarkson, rich and funny. Richard Hammond, rich and funny. James May. Don't kick off. I can keep you entertained. I promise. Anna Taylor Joy. I'm going to say beautiful. She's the kind of stunning that occurs because you've never quite seen a face like her. Sigourney Weaver, the original mommy. She's just awesome and a cat person. Let's get Marvel movies out of the way, shall we? Chris Evans, America's ass. I wish it was my ass. Chris Hemsworth, I bet I can beat him in a fight. I bet he's bottom. Scarlett Johansson, yeah. Robert Downey Jr. And those are all the people I know from Marvel movies. How about DC? Henry Cavill, is this even a question? Christian Bale, I think I could top him. Royalty, Prince Andrew, yeah. Prince Philip, oh shit, he's dead, isn't he? Harry, he is a ginger, but I'll give him, actually, no, I won't. Prince William, he is actually attractive, but also, f the monarchy, praise anarchy. Anyway, back to actors, Liam Neeson. I have a particular set of skills. I hope those skills revolve around time. Good God. Obi-Wan Kenobi stole my heart and soul, and I'm completely okay with that. I wish Obi-Wan was real. I would buy an Obi-Wan body pillow. Ruby Rose. Hot as I want her to drag me around town looking for someone to fight with. Harrison Ford. Okay, I have a few things to say about him. First off, He's aged beautifully. Secondly, holy sh** when he was in Indiana Jones as a young man. Look at those biceps, oh my god. Step on me. Jensen Ackles, oh my god, step on me. Pretty please. Carla. Oh, sorry, one moment. 
I'm gonna have to interrupt this video because it seems we've just received an incoming broadcast from the future. Over to our future correspondent, Keith Avenir. Keith, what's the latest news from the future? Good morning, Alice. It's afternoon. That's what I said. I'm currently speaking to you from roughly a week in the future on Christmas Day. Oh, Merry Christmas, Keith. Thanks, Alice. That actually means a lot. So what? I have, don't have any family friends here that violently exploit if I talk to them, so I haven't seen them since I signed the contract. So, half an hour? It's been so hard. I'm alone on Christmas Day. Hmm. You'd be alone whenever you were, even in the present. Anyway, in news from the future, the American economy is bordering on recession, housing markets are simultaneously dropping mm -hmm. and becoming harder to buy into, and mm -hmm. I've just heard word that Tesla stock is heavily inflated and has almost no actual value, and that they make terrible cars. Hmm, and how's Elon Musk taking that? Oh, on Christmas Eve, he embarrassed himself yet again with some kind of Santa stunt. He has gone on record saying that he was trying to be cool. More as the situation unfolds. So, what I'm hearing is that it's situation normal then. Nothing's changed? Nothing at all, Alice. The world is still completely f***ed. Keith! Can you leave that out? Anyway, there is one thing that's changed in the last week. Next week for you. And what's that, Keith? Burj Khalifa, the little-known cousin of Mia Khalifa, has decided to take up the family reins and start a porn career. We've been told it has the biggest ball in existence and is in fact wow. extremely long. We will watch its career in great interest. That's incredible news, Keith. Anything else? Frogs are gay now. Incredible. Thanks for that, Keith. Back to- Actually, Alice, I just heard what you're doing and I wanted to squeeze uh, someone into the tier list. Uh, Keith, that's- Have you thought about Paul Rudd? Yes. Now, I'm not gay, but I would let him do unspeakable okay, things Keith, to me. Okay, thank- I want him to <laughs> my ass and tie me <laughs> me into his little slave. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's hot. Step on me, please. Carl Urban. Oh my god, look at him. Is it any question? I want him to talk dirty to me in that evil butcher accent. This guy. Oh god. I'm doing it again and putting everyone in the step on me category. Uh, there must be someone I want to step on. Finster. Oh, f no, that's not right either. He's so pretty, it actually makes me irrationally angry. Envy. Extreme envy. Now I want to break some of my fanboys! <laughs> Willem Dafoe. I've heard he's hung like a horse. He can go and mature hot. This person from r slash trans. <laughs> envy. Damiano David. Another hot feminine guy. Can't remember this guy's name, but I know he likes to dress up in a red gimp suit, and I think that's hot. Finster! He's so- Wait... I've already done this one. I'm actually losing my grip on reality. <laughs> f***ing fanboy's driving me crazy! I've heard he's hung like Willem Dafoe. <clears throat> Minor intermission. You can probably guess that constructing a time machine in order to send our future correspondent to Christmas Day for a sketch and for a sketch only was quite expensive. So expensive, in fact, that I've had to take up a part-time job behind the local Wendy's dumpster. Unfortunately, we didn't have the foresight to ask Keith to check the lottery numbers, and right now he's too busy moaning on about Paul Rudd, and good lord, we cannot broadcast that. So, if you want to support me in this broadcasting station to make future videos, please consider clicking the link in my description for my new Buy Me A Coffee page, which I have sneakily turned into a Buy Me A Bubble Tea. Any little bit helps, and I know a few people have asked me if there's any way they can support me. This is how. I'd really love to make more crazy content, but unfortunately I am quite budget restricted. I would really appreciate any help you can give. Okay, now to get to the opinion of the people, whom I absolutely respect and harbor absolutely no resentment for. I asked on my Instagram story, you can follow me with the link in the description, for my followers, celebrity slash pop culture crushes. Let's go through them now. Anne Hathaway, exceptional choice, she is very beautiful. Are you roughly? Who's that? Oh wow. Um... Mae Martin. Jenna Ortega. Oh yeah, no, she's totally adorable as hell. Even Rachel Wood. I've actually had a weird number of people telling me that I look quite a lot like her, which is strange, because I don't see the resemblance. But nevertheless, she is beautiful. And the rest of my followers just said I was their crush, which is... of utterly no help for this video. So back to my own extreme opinions. Elliot Page, very cute and badass transitioning in the spotlight. Represent, dude. Winona Ryder. I think she's just fucking adorable and has the largest eyes on the planet. David Harbour, the true detective of my heart. I would actually let him smoke a cigarette in my vicinity. Mature hot. 
Timothy Chalamet. Okay, okay. I am actually convinced he is the same person as Natalia Dyer. They are the same person. Look at this, you cannot tell me these are different people. I will not believe you, and I'm not going crazy. Timothy isn't a femboy yet. There's something going on here. It's a conspiracy. So I will rank this singular person as beautiful. Charles, mm. Charles Leclerc. He drives a Ferrari, he's French, and extremely attractive. He also just split up with his girlfriend, so you know, he's back on the market. Anyway, what's not to like? Beautiful. And now, drum roll please. The moment you've all been waiting for, the final, the ultimate, the hottest person in the entire tier list, undisputed, 